Number five, you must become essential. Now, this goes with being unique. That means that there's something about you that distinguishes you from everyone else, and you want to be noticed, right? But what I'm talking about now is in whatever situation you're in, you want to be perceived as essential. And I'll give you a perfect example of what I'm talking about. I have had the same personal assistant for 40 plus years now, and her name is Barbara. And let me tell you how essential she is. She knows everything about my life. If I need a passcode to get into the Nest thermostat at my house, I call Barbara. She knows what it is. If I need the passcodes to the streaming services on my phone, I don't know what they are, but Barbara knows. If the printer or the copier gets jammed at the office, maybe a lot of places call the company and say, this isn't working. All I've got to do is say, Barbara, she comes in and she knows exactly what to do. She can unpack it, deconstruct it, put it back together in the time somebody else would take to call a repairman. She knows where every contract is, where every file is, how to fix every office machine. She knows what every phone number goes to. She knows who to put through, who not to put through. She is essential. It's like you would feel if you lost your phone. If Barbara took a week and just went totally off the radar, I guess they'd just have to put me in a medically induced coma. She knows everything. She is essential. And if somebody said, well, you're going to have to cut back here, you're going to have to get rid of some employees, she would be last on the list because she is essential in so many different areas. She is a jack of all trade and a master of most. She is essential, as opposed to somebody that maybe is a specialist, somebody they do this job or they do that job. She has made herself essential. Do people perceive you as being an essential member of your sociogram, an essential member of your work group, an essential member of whatever it is that you're involved in? And if you want to be a winner, if you want to be an important member of a team, you need to create the perception of being essential. And I say perception because it's not just enough to be essential. You have to make sure that people perceive you as being essential. That's what I mean about accepting praise. If somebody comes and says, wow, sure glad you're here because you know how to do, well, everything. You don't want to say, well, no, I mean, everybody kind of knows how to do all this stuff. Are, are you kidding me? Say, well, thank you for noticing. I've been here a long time, and I've made it my job to learn, I guess, every job here. So thank you for noticing. You want to confirm, yes, I am essential. Damn right. Common sense tells you that if they don't miss you when you're gone, chances are pretty good you're going to be just that, gone. I don't want you to just hope this doesn't happen to you. I want you to find actions you can take towards becoming essential, irreplaceable, in whatever scenario you're in. And while we're talking about common sense, you want to guard and protect what you know. Do not give away the recipe to the secret sauce. Remember, there is no reality, only perception. So to maintain this perception, you want to guard your unique knowledge. If you know how to do five things that only you know how to do, you really don't want to go teach three other people how to do those five things. Now, you may be thinking, well, now, come on, Dr. Phil, I'm a team player. I want everybody to be able to do everything I can do. Well, okay, go knock yourself out. But if you want to be essential, if you want to be a player, if you want to be a winner, you are going to maintain some unique skills, some unique abilities, some unique knowledge that nobody knows but you. Now, I'm asking you to think about that. Does that make sense? Don't give away 
everything that makes you essential, everything that makes you unique. So bottom line, what I'm telling you here is the secret to success is to know things no one else knows and guard those things you know that no one else knows. I mean, just be smart about it. When you get into the game of life, folks, this is chess, not checkers. And if you think that other people aren't playing this game with strategic objectives in mind, then you're going to miss the level at which life is happening. Don't be one of those that doesn't get it. This is chess, not checkers.